to assume that all your basics and all your fundamentals are right. If you're not sure and you think something might be a little wacky, then uh, go back and key in on those and get them fixed. And because otherwise, if, if one of your basics is off, nothing that I say in this video is going to help you. So for you players who know that all your basics are right, but you're a little bit not sure about uh, the straightness of your stroke. This is for you. Most players who've been playing for a while, they get they get down on the right line, and they've got their basics right, um, but they're still missing it, and they're not really sure why. And it's almost always going to be your stroke. And it might feel straight to you, it might look straight to you, but chances are really, really good that you have a flaw in it. And if it's not that, then it again goes back to the basics. Now, if you're making balls, but you're not getting positioned because your draw's not working, and that's, all, that's pretty much always dropping your shoulder because you're still in line, you're still stroking straight. Just say your stroke is going up at the, at, at the moment of contact with the cue ball because your shoulder at the back of your cue is dropping and the tip of your cue is coming up so you're not hitting the cue ball where you intend to hit the cue ball. Uh, find a flat surface in your home that's roughly the height of a pool table. Could be a kitchen table or a desk, or any kind of flat surface that allows you the room to stroke the wall. And you're going to make a straight line on that surface. Uh, you can use painter's tape or electrical tape or masking tape, whatever. And just make sure that that line is absolutely perfectly straight. And you're going to need a camera, some kind of camera. It doesn't have to be an expensive camera. It can be your cell phone camera. Just any kind of camera. You're going to make sure that the lens of the camera is in the exact middle of that line. And this might take a couple of minutes to dial in and get perfect. Usually a legitimate pool shark can spot all the fish in the pool room and they don't even have to see you shoot. They can usually tell by the way you walk and the way you carry yourself. If they're still not sure, they'll watch carefully how you get down on the ball and what you do once you're down on the ball. And they only need to see it one time to size you up. All amateurs do this wrong, and they all do it wrong because they never got any professional training, and so they're just kind of off in their own world doing their own thing. And here's what they'll do. Uh, they'll get down on the line any which way they want, any way that feels natural. They'll come in from the side, and then once they're down on the line, they'll start moving stuff around like the bridge, in order to find the aiming point on the cue ball. They'll move their back end, they'll move the bridge end, they'll move their whole body back and they're all adjusted while they're down on the shot. This is the biggest sign of an amateur not so good player. They get down first and then they try to find the aiming point, they'll tilt their head, they'll do all kinds of stuff to try to find the line. You find the line while you're standing up and you see it on the table and you get down on that line like a robot. Once you're down on the line, nothing moves. Everything is as steady as a robot. And I'll show it to you again. This is what a bad player looks like. 
the only thing that should ever move once you're down on the table is your stroking arm. Everything else should stay as still as humanly possible. And I hate this term, but it's true. You should be like a robot. You know, if your wife is upset for the line that you put on the kitchen table, explain to her that this is the most important tool of your life because of it. The line represents the line between the cue ball and the object ball. You know, if we extend that line back to the rail, this is a line that your cue is getting down on. It. And I'm referring to the whole cue from the tip to the end of the butt. This is what you want to see as you're standing up behind the shot and you want to get your cue directly on that line. So if you do this and get down on that line and it doesn't look right to you, something is off, then you stand back up. Don't adjust anything while you're down. Stand back up and take another look at the line and try your best to get down on that line. Now what you'll find is most times your stance was off. Your feet were a little bit too far to the left or too far to the right. So adjust that and try getting down on the line again. And if it still doesn't look right, something's off, then stand back up and take another look at it. And the shot line might not look right to everybody, but if, if we put the ghost ball up there, we can see that it is right. It's just the angle that's throwing you off a little bit. And some guys aim past this point and find a spot on the rail, and that's fine for some players. I don't do that. I did try to do that at one point in my life, but I was uncomfortable with it. And some guys push it even further and find a spot outside the table and on a wall or a chair or something, and they'll get down on that one. So for now, practice a whole lot on getting down on that line and not moving anything once you are down on that line. Now, if you're new to this, your back is going to start hurting after a while, and that's because your lower back muscles are just not used to doing this. They will eventually get used to it, and that pain will go away, and you'll be good to go. Now, we're a long way from done here. We haven't even gotten to the stroke, but I couldn't get to the stroke until I was sure you were getting down on the line. So I'm just going to keep drilling this into your head and getting down on the line and staying perfectly still. If it doesn't look right, stand back up and get on the line until it does look right. Stand back up and keep getting up and down until you're certain that you're on the right line. Alright man, uh, now it's time to turn the camera on and again make sure the lens is in the center of that line so you can see straight down your stroke. And also try not to get in the habit of looking at your stroke or looking at the line as you're down on the ball. Your concentration and your focus should be on that object ball and stroking through the cue ball to the point of contact on the object. So once I start showing you the stroke, my focus is actually on the flash part of this camera. So I'm looking over the cue ball into the distance on the object. This is important. It's also important to develop a pause in the back of your stroke right as you're about to follow through through the cue ball. Now, for you guys who've been around a while, if your stroke is straight except for the very end of the stroke and then there's a wobble at the end as the cue comes to a stop, check your grip hand. There's a good chance that your grip hand is too far forward on the cue and needs it to come back. Uh, other factors could be that your alignment's off, your elbow's not high enough or not in line with the cue and the line. Um, there's all kinds of issues that you could be dealing with that you never even know and it could go all the way back to the basics. Now try not to look at your monitor if you have to flip it over, flip it around, get it out of your sight and try not to look at the camera lens too because that would equal the cue ball and you don't want to get in the habit of staring at the cue ball you need to put your focus on that object ball. So just let the camera roll and, and try to pretend it's not even there. You can go back and, and upload it to your computer and look at it 
and see exactly what's going on and then make the adjustments. Uh, you're very, very apt to find flaws in your stroke by doing this. Um, stick with it. Uh, very often it's your wrist that's twisting or going offline somewhere. Uh, very often your elbow is dropping. Uh, there's all kinds of things that could be going wrong here. And it's up to you to find it and fix it and stick with this.